Muy buenas gente, aquí Mao y en este vídeo os enseñaré cómo conseguir el trofeo o logro Cascabeles Negras en el nivel del dominio anarquista. Para este nivel subí unas habilidades, sobre todo subir los atributos mental y social, así como las habilidades de intimidación y persuasión. Lo demás podéis subirlo, aunque las que más necesitamos son estas que os digo. Hecho esto, comenzamos y avanzamos hasta que terminemos de hablar con esta señora y nos deje explorar libremente por el dominio. Vamos a ir a la oficina que se encuentra en la parte izquierda nada más comenzar y encontrar de esta manera la llave de los túneles, que utilizaremos en unos segundos. Con la llave en nuestras manos me seguís a las alcantarillas y haremos un viaje hasta la zona donde se encuentra Rafa, que será el primero al que tendremos que convencer. Seguidme y no tendréis problema. What are we waiting for? For Thane to change his plans. What they just told us is big news. Hmm. Who knows where these tunnels could lead? Una vez aquí, vamos a pulsar el L1 para ver esta tablet. Interactuamos con ella y ponemos el siguiente patrón. Aquí dentro podemos interactuar con los papeles para ver el código o directamente poner el que os digo. El código es el 568974. Una vez dentro vamos a hablar con Rafa y elegimos las mismas respuestas que yo. Ojo porque algunas están, ojo porque algunas están focalizadas. Es decir, utilizamos el poder azul para incrementar su eficacia. De ahí que al principio del nivel subimos las habilidades y atributos. Os dejo en pantalla las respuestas correctas para ganar el confrontamiento y que Rafa se alíe con nosotros. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. You might not have the time to blink before I splash your brains all over the walls. I see. Iverson taught you how to bite. I didn't need her to teach me anything. I think I have the right to know what you're doing in my cabin. Or are you just gonna stand there yapping? Saul told me I should come see you. She thinks you could help us. Don't tell me she agrees with your shitty plan. How do you... I got a detailed report about your little crisis meeting. Thane was right to refuse to cooperate. It'd be a huge mistake. It will be if you don't help us. We're not allies. Never have been, never will be. So why should we risk our asses to save yours? You do realize that this problem isn't just about the camp. We've learned to make ourselves scarce. Scarce? You're hiding out on a fucking barge. How long do you think it will take before they come for you? We'll be gone before that can happen. Where? They'll hunt you down like they did in London. 
I'm sorry, but we're all in this together. Like it or not. Maybe. Anyways, the old bat is wrong. London. Vienna. We've seen what they can do. You're no match for them. You don't stand a chance. It's either that, or we stand here waiting around for them to massacre us. I see. You're giving us the choice between being annihilated or being annihilated as heroes. I have no intention of being destroyed tonight. We're the hunters. It's not the other way around. A heroic last stand. I bet the gangrels would be into that. It would even make some of my daredevils happy. Listen, even if you're right, even if all of that were true, I couldn't help you. I can't. Why not? What's stopping you? You wouldn't understand. Explain. You should know, since you went through my cabin. Is it about the SI? No. Hmm. I must not have searched thoroughly enough then. Too bad. My existence is at stake, Lewis. And I'm not going to sacrifice myself for your alliance. I see where you're coming from. But I swear, nothing will happen to you. I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. You don't have that kind of power. I'm a member of the Primogen Council. At least, I will be soon. I can protect you. Really? A member of the Council? I don't know. I'd be hanging all my hopes on you. It's either that, or final death will come knocking in a matter of days. You have to trust me, Rafa. <sighs> All right. I got your message. You can count on me to try to clean up your prince's mess. Thanks, Rafa. I'm not doing it for you. I know. But thanks anyways. We've got to get ready. I'll give the others a heads up and tell them to let you in. Great. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, Lewis. We won't forget you. I've got to get ready. I'll meet up with you later. But that's the last time you break in here. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Con Rafa de nuestro lado volvemos a la zona del comienzo y allí debemos ir a la parte trasera del gimnasio. Seguidme y no tendréis problema de encontrarlo. Una vez aquí hay que esperar a que terminen de hablar y tendremos que ir a la oficina de Ceris para hablar con ella cuando se siente. Do you really think now is the time for this? They're only here for a few hours, damn it. Relax. No. Either you tell Saul to call off her dogs or I'll do it. Oh, now you're the one giving me orders. I forbid you to go anywhere near her. Do I make myself clear? That's an order. Dumb bitch. Talk. 
Viserys. I need to talk to you. Randall told you to leave. He didn't say when. Oh, you think you're clever. What do you want? We have to talk about the SI. There's nothing more to be said. Randall was perfectly clear. He's making a mistake. The whole city's in danger. Don't waste your breath. I don't listen to the court's underlings. Now get out of here. Ceres, just hear me out. Get out. God damn it. If I want them to back me, Hecho esto, salimos y ahora nos contará una milonga este hombre. Elegid lo que yo, pero no haremos lo que le prometemos, ya que para el trofeo necesitamos que Ceris esté de nuestra parte y no este tío. Por cierto, este tío se llama Jarly. Pero hay que seguirle el juego por ahora. Why would you take that risk? Well, because our survival depends on it. This isn't the first time Sirius has put us in danger. And what do you suggest? An exchange of mutual benefit. Do you know why Sirius disagrees with your plan? Out of loyalty, I guess. No, that's part of it, for sure, but that's not all. It's because of the Crimson Oaks. I've heard of them. I remember those guys. Hazel hated them. There was a time she fought with them. I thought they disappeared. Their leaders fled after the fall of London. Most of them followed, but others stayed behind and went underground. I see. But what's the connection with Ceres? <laughs> she works for them, and she seems to be pretty attached to their agreement. What kind of agreement is it? What do you do for them? I don't do anything. Cirrus deals with that. As far as I understand, she runs logistics for them. She rents boats, houses. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems big. If Cirrus works for them, that would explain why she won't help Hazel. Yeah, but I got a plan for that. It won't be pretty, but it'll be good for the both of us. You win? I'm with you. All right. Then listen carefully. I've got dirt on Sirius. Bank accounts. The kind of stuff that's shady enough to get her kicked out of the coterie for good. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Sirius is embezzling. Oh yeah, that's what the files say. Is it really true? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. All that matters is getting rid of her. If Cirrus is out, then I'll replace her, and I'll help you. What are you planning to do with your little papers? You can't just whip them out like that. Somebody's got to find them. And for that to happen, I need you to help me plant them somewhere. Where? In Cirrus's personal safe. It's in a secure room. You'll need this pass to get in. Great. Is there a code? For the safe, I mean. It's not a code. It's a card. Here. You'll find it upstairs. Any questions? I think that's about it. In that case, I'll arrange to get you access to upstairs. Here, take the files. Come back when you got some news. I'm counting on you. Terminada la conversación con este tío, volvemos a la oficina, para esta vez delatarlo, que es el que nos contaba antes las cosas. Esto es necesario para convencerla, así que elegid lo mismo que yo en los diálogos para ganar la confrontación. It has to do with your second. Yardley? What's the problem? He wants you out of the picture. <sighs> Excuse me? He knows you won't help us against the SI. He offered to help me. In exchange for your head. No way. Do you have any proof to back up your claim? 
He asked me to plant some forged documents in your safe. I didn't do it. I've got them with me if you want to see them. That won't be necessary. <sighs> Yardley. I knew he was up to something. But for him to use you against me? He sunk to a new level. That's all I know. I guess I should thank you. You owe me more than that. I saved your ass. I want you to talk to Thane and defend Hazel's offer. I knew it. You might be onto something. But what's in it for me? The court could open the New England blood market to you. You'd have access to the red salons in the region. That'd be a nice change from our menu of junkies. What do you say? You've piqued my curiosity. And my appetite. Why not? As long as your prince can keep her word. This is your first time, isn't it? What? Negotiating? No. Fighting. I've spent my life doing it. So you should know that you rarely win without sacrificing something. How many people will be destroyed tonight, if I agree to help you? How many of your friends? Are you ready to bear that burden? We won't lose anyone tonight. The court will be there to back us up. I'm fully aware of what I'm asking you to do. And you're sure about this? I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. I might have been wrong about you, but I'm going to be honest. It's not about you. It's your prince. I know you don't trust Hazel. Because I know her too well, Randall does too. If you reach out to help her, she'll cut off your hand. What makes things any different this time? I'll be there to stop her. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you try. Her primogen has the means to control her. So? Are you part of that band of thieves? Exactly. Really? <laughs> now that you mention it, you're a lot like them. Hmm. Maybe we could use you to our advantage. You'll be the one to take the blows. Fine. I'll help you and back your request. But I can't promise anything. I know. With you and Saul, that should do it. Saul? Yeah. She agreed to help me. Rafa agreed to back us too. Con Ceris. De nuestro lado, con Ceris. O Ceris. De nuestro lado, ya solo nos queda ir a hablar con Saúl. Y es la más fácil. Simplemente hablad con ella y elegid lo mismo que yo. Until then, stay cool. Ferris and her bunch are on edge tonight. I don't want any trouble. Got it? Yeah. Ah, still in one piece. I'm impressed. Your friends might hate me, but they're afraid of Hazel. They wouldn't dare touch a hair on my head. It's not just Hazel. Everyone knows the Black Rattler's Rose. So, what do you think? Must be a hell of a change from all those tight asses at court, huh? I miss them. It's a real nest of vipers. But at least they've got class. Yeah, you're not gonna find crown molding anywhere around here. But you've got less of a chance of getting stabbed in the back. She doesn't know Yardley. You know, your message earlier. Uh, at the time, I really thought you wanted to take the plunge. Or that you were gonna join us. <laughs> got your hopes up. I'm a little disappointed. I think you have your place here. You should think about it. Not tonight. I know, but if you have any questions, let me know. I was able to talk to Rafa. And? He was suspicious at first, but he came to understand the severity of the situation. He's agreed to help us. Well done. Rafa's a little rough around the edges, but he's a good leader. You did the right thing. Were you able to bring up our plans to Cirrus? Yes. 
It wasn't easy, but she's in. I knew you could do it. Saris and Randall are close. He'll listen to her. So, what do you say we go see Thane? I think it's high time we did. Yes. All right, follow me. The Baron is expecting us. Ready? Do I really want to do this? Then again, it's either me or them. Al terminar, elegimos seguir con el plan del príncipe y tras hablar con el jefe de la banda y terminar la misión, nos darán el logro o trofeo. Espero que os haya servido, suscribiros para más y nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Thank <music> you.